so it's nice to talk um, at this mini conference about uh, workflows. Um, I'm specifically talking about two types of workflows, the, the CWL style workflows um, that this conference covers, and then the actual publishing workflow to, um, to d disseminate and get, get credit for these um, from the experience of GigaScience. Now, um, this is a virtual meeting because there's a, a global crisis and um, it's really you know, shown how crucially important uh, research is, um, the need to, the and importance to disseminate this and communicate this you know, openly and globally. Um, but unfortunately, the, the, the means of doing this publication is expensive. There are many, many barriers, financial and others. It needs to be done uh, quickly and, uh, you know, in what's dubbed an, an infodemic in a, in a trusted um, form uh, that uh, a lot of people um, think peer review is, 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 the, is uh, potentially the best way to do this. Unfortunately, the technology to do that is extremely laborious, um, archaic, and the process is completely untransparent. We have no idea, um, you know, how this kind of review is carried out. It's just a black box. Um, and um, in increasingly, you know, the research is increasingly digital. The, the data, the software, the underlying methods and results need to be shared both for scrutiny and for reuse. But unfortunately, um, it, you know, it's a lot of time and effort to, to, to make this uh, open and shareable, but there's no incentives for, for this work. Um, hence, everything is static, closed, everything is human-centric and, and, and lacks, it lacks interaction. So, you know, for a 21st century crisis, we're still trying to deal with it with 17th century means. Uh, Giga Science um, launched uh, specifically to try to address some of these issues, um, particularly the credit ones, uh, crediting the software, the data, the um, you know workflows and things like that, focusing and giving credit for those uh, via digital object identifiers, pushing open licensing. Um, uh, since we launched in 2012, we, th we think we've done quite a good job publishing uh, eight, uh, over 800 papers and um, over 2,000 accompanying data sets in like a GIDEB repository for supplemental data and, and, and software snapshots. Um, uh, 217 of these papers have been specifically been what we call technical notes, uh, giving credit to software and, and workflows and pipelines and the like. And um, we've seen a big growth of this um, over, the, over the last decade. Starting with Galaxy, um, we've had about 35 uh, you know, papers using uh, Galaxy. Other workflow systems in recent years, SnakeMate, NextFlow, and since 2019, uh, CWL, um, and, and um, in, you know, new workflow systems, we, we have to very carefully peer review those. Um, and the form that we've been getting them has, has evolved as well, um, you know, uh, Dockerization and, and, you know, seeing CWL now. So, uh, you know, the 2013 experience, we tried to, to see if uh, having our own Galaxy server was um, a, a useful way of providing visualizations and, and a service. Um, not so much interest in that, but a nice legacy has been our Galaxy series for, uh, as a one-stop shop for, the, for all of these many papers. Uh, CWL is f following a similar trajectory to Galaxy, um, but you know we've had to kind of, we're essentially making this stuff up as we go along really, like uh, how, how should we you know, present these things? The first papers we gave uh, object bundles of the workflow in GigaDB, uh, every time we see figures, we uh, make sure that there's a permanent permalink allowing interaction via the CWL kind of viewer tool. And we've seen, um, you know, increasing, number, you know, this ecosystem grow, nice descriptions of tools like CWL metrics, CWL airflow, CWL prov. And in the last month, uh, great to see uh, e NCBI um, publishing a couple of tools with us. Um, using CWL as well, so really seeing that the you know um, it, it, it go mainstream, um, but it it over the over this uh, near decade, 
we've learned some useful lessons, really seen that, you know, we've achieved some things, but technology has really held us back. Um, it's much too slow and expensive, very focused still on, on narrative and this version of record thing. And so if we had an opportunity to redesign the scientific article for things like workflows, what would it look like? And this was the kind of question we asked ourselves and um, decided that we need a new technology to do this. So working with River Valley, uh, who um, have, have tested a new end-to-end -end, uh, everything in XML workflow with us, um, this new platform, we've launched a new journal called Gigabyte. Um, it's faster, more accurate. Um, we've tried to streamline the review process. Um, but the key thing doing an XML means that there's big, uh, you just cut out the production, which allows a huge cost and time saving, um, getting it down, you know, still a few manual steps, but less than, we've managed to get it in some examples, less than four hours per paper. And we're estimating about an eighth of the current cost. Um, XML allows you to kind of push a button, um, do updates, do forks, uh, any hack where you want to view the paper. Um, and leveraging uh, dynamic content as well. You can kind of build things on top of the data, stick in widgets. So with that in mind, if you, you know, would like to ask a question to you, you know, if you could redesign uh, the publication, you know, this unit with credit for CWL, articles and workflows, what would it look like? Uh, are object bundles useful? Um, because we can embed uh, visualization tools as, as CWL viewer or something else, would this be useful? If we're discarding all of this packaging, what should we focus on? What are the key things? Um, peer review as well, uh, is it useful to you know, do things like code check certificates of executability? Would uh, kind of uh, automating peer review be useful, uh, parts of peer review be useful? Um, what's, what are the key licenses we should use? Um, and, and how do we take this beyond just us and make this a kind of cross-publisher standard? So these are the kinds of questions I would like to ask you guys. And, um, you know, uh, uh, please email me and, and, and we can discuss this in the, uh, in the, in, in, in the next few minutes. And um, the article processing charges uh, for this are free for the next month. Um, and uh, beyond that will be super, super cheap.